It's Elle here for Merle Norman. I am a makeup artist and a licensed esthetician, and I am here today to share with you tips how to get this really easy, wearable look with some darker shadows. I hope that this will eliminate any kind of hesitancy to use a little bit darker shadows and allow them to give you a beautiful look. So let's do it. Okay, to start this look, I already have eyeshadow primer on. Now I'm gonna go in with what I call like a yogurt shade or a bone shade. So this is the Knockout Nudes 2 palette. I'm actually gonna go in with Cloud. But for some people, you know, this color next to it might be one that might fit your skin tone better, even one over here. Usually though, it is matte. And so you're gonna pick the one that is going to be closest to your skin tone. I like to have it a little bit brighter just to add a little bit of highlight to that eye area. I'm gonna go with the number two eyes brush. And I'm going to apply this from root to the brow bone. And the reason why I like to start this way, and when you watch me do makeup, this is typically how I start a makeup look, is because this really helps kind of cancel out a little bit of discoloration so you have an even, you know, a more even palette as well as it helps any kind of shadows that you're gonna put on top of it be more blendable. So we're gonna start with Romance from our Soft Touch Eyeshadows. I'm gonna take it on number three eyes brush, and the reason why I like to use a brush for this look that looks like this is because of the shape. It's almost like a pencil, and you're gonna use it as such. So you're gonna use the tip sometimes, you're also gonna use a little bit further down to blend. Now I like to, when I'm working with darker shadows, I like to use two colors. So we're gonna go with Romance, and then we're gonna go in with a color called Dive. But when we start with a color like this, which is so beautiful and so beautifully pigmented, I'm going to apply this first color just in the crease. Reason being is we want this look to give the optical illusion that our eyes are a little bit longer, a little more almond shaped. And I don't, I'm not picking up any more product. I'm literally just going in and out. I'm using the very tip of the brush to push this product in and have the crease be a little bit darker. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush, nothing on it, and I am going to ever so slightly blend up into the brow bone, just like this. Now, of course, when we're using dark shadows, they don't always have to be dark. You can just leave it like this, which is basically like a wash of color. That's what's so awesome about using more darker and more pigmented shades like this, because you can just go in with kind of one little layer and that gives you the payoff that you want. But for me, I'm gonna go in again and I'm gonna build up this coverage and this intensity. And again, I'm just going back in, using the very tip of my brush, working it back and forth. I'm wiping off my brush and gently blending. And now when we're talking about the outer corner right here, you don't wanna blend down, remember that. We don't wanna pull the eye down. So that's why I'm stopping my blend right here at the edge of where my lash line is. And then a little trick is you take a number five brush and you're going to flick upwards like this. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna soften that outer edge ever so slightly, and there's nothing on this brush, just the brush itself. And again, just take that big brush and soften that edge. All right, so now you can absolutely stop here, put a couple coats of mascara on, and call it a day, but we're gonna amp this up. Now we're going in with Dive, and we're gonna do like a faux winged liner, but with shadow. So we're going to use our brows brush, I'm gonna look down into my mirror and I'm just ever so gently going to tap this on the outer third of my eye and into where we had just done the shadow. And this doesn't have to be perfect. This is more of what we were talking about, that optical illusion where it's going to lead the eye outwards. And you can, of course, go in as dark or as light as you would like with this faux wing. What I also like to do is sometimes I'll take the brush on an angle and I will follow from where that wing is and just ever so slightly go into the crease like this. Again, on the outer third. 
I'm going to take a number three eyes brush with nothing on it and just blend this away seamlessly. Almost as if you were thinking that it was a shadow, like, the sh like a, a person's shadow. So you don't really want to see the color a tremendous amount. It's just adding a little more depth. And again, the other eye. And the reason why I am only going on the outer third for this faux liner or this kind of smokier liner is because it makes the eye look look less dramatic. It doesn't bring it all the way in to add that structure and depth and dimension. We're just leaving it on the outside so that it's a little more airy and a little more kind of um, smoky-ish. Okay, so to add the finishing touches to this look, we're gonna take our number two eyes brush and whatever color you used first as the base of your eye. I'm going back into cloud and I'm going to reinforce that this is light right here. And the reason being is it allows the eye to look, look do you see the difference? Allows the eye to look a little more wide awake and also too, it's kind of highlights this inner area right here where we get dark. Oh, I love that. I hope you can see how that lighter color really opens up the eye. All right, a couple coats of Wicked Lash Mascara. All right, I just went on and completed my makeup, but to really finish this look off, we are going to choose a lip. I have chosen this beautiful tinted lip balm in Petal. Now, the reason being is because I wanted something a little more sheer and a little less pigmented and a little just softer because I, we have so much beautiful focus on these eyes. And we, when we have a, something like that, when we have a focus on one, you know, whether it's cheeks or the lips or the eyes, but today we pick the eyes. When we have focus on the eyes, we want everything else to be a little bit softer so that it draws the eye into what we want to stand out. All right, so here is the final look. I'll give you one more time to take a quick peek. I just love how this turned out. It's so wearable. I hope this encourages you to try some new colors, try some darker shades, and I look forward to hearing how you get along. So thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.